Connecting you with the community on the West Island blog. I'm Rhonda Massad, and this is Dana Chevalier, a councillor for the city of St. Anne de Bellevue and a candidate for the NDP in the upcoming federal elections. We are here at the West Island blog making sure you it will know every one of the candidates and make sure that you have everything you need to vote come this October. How are you doing, Dana? I'm doing great. Are it's you excited? Really, I'm humbled to be here. I'm okay. honored and grateful that you are giving me this opportunity. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way. What led you to choosing a career in politics? This is not your first kick at the can. You're also on the St. Anne's Council, so you have a certain interest in politics. How did that come about? I'd say it's a fil en aiguille, kind of how naturally just things that in my process with regards to my education, I started out on um, Anishinaabek Educational Institute where I learned right away about residential schools, about deep social issues that affect people's lives and then eventually, I, n I never intended to, to go into politics, but then learning to, learning about law. So when I studied law, it was really in a more kind of critical thinking, what it, you know, and as, as a means of studying society. And then within that, learning that, you know, where, what are these laws? Where do they come from? Who where makes who, them up? Who, who, who decides this? Who's they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> who is they? And then slowly starting to learn. I did some youth leadership programs out of high school too, and kind of learning like we are the leaders. It's everybody in the community that can drive the, the collective. And so that led to more community involvement. And then eventually, you know, in St. Anne, it was an extension of me loving my community and always chatting with people and then learning what are the things that affect our day to day and how can I be involved in that. Okay. How will your past experiences and skill set help move our community forward and our country forward and provide a better quality of life? Well, some of the experience that I bring to the table is I'm a lawyer and a mediator as well. And with that, that's part of me, part of what I do is helping people on a day-to-day -day basis navigate complex legal systems, navigate bureaucracies to a certain extent. And I'm, I, there's a, a comfort that I have with being with people in distress or Crisis when they're management. when they're when they're in crisis and confronted with a rule that affects their lives. Okay. And how, so I, I see myself as being able to bridge between the macro of these big institutions and these rules that are are daunting when you're trying to figure something out. For sure. And for sure. and trying to bring that kind of almost like a love, a, a, a close proximity to everyday people into a, a bigger discussion okay from your door to door what are you hearing a couple of ideas what are people um, what are your what are the people's concerns i'd say like to link it to a federal issue when there was, there was a gentleman that i spoke to who, who s spoke to me about how it's hard for him having he, he was retired uh, you know in his early 70s and it's hard for him to now only to be living on the pension that he has even though he worked his whole entire life you know now that he's has this fixed income which is his pension from employer pension from uh, the federal and provincial governments it's it's there's very little room to move so this person i guess among other people in the West Island, as well as the rest of Canada, but are faced with increasing cost of living, and and there's a, I guess, something that, that I see, and I think a lot of West Islanders are fully aware of, and that is that the myth that everyone it's in the rich. West Island is rich is a myth. People yeah. who live here know that. There's a, there's a struggle for a lot of people. And, and the, I guess something I want to see is someone who represents Lakshmi, who recognizes the diversity of socioeconomic needs. Okay, makes sense. If you, could ch if you win, when you win, if you win, um, what would be your choice of ministry if you had a chance to, to pick a minister? 
Well, that's an excellent question. That's uh, it's a fun one. It wasn't my question. Somebody sent it in. It's. Uh, I mean, I'm moved by the whole climate change action right now. I mean, a lot of people are. I definitely. That's something that I. I I think that there needs to be a leadership in that, okay. not just a pragmatic approach. Well, a leadership, a real like a leadership that is prepared to um, to see climate change as a crisis and to reassure citizens that we're going to do something serious about it. Okay. What are your favorite non-political activities? Mm -hmm. We know you're a councillor for St. Anne's, and we know you want to do this. What do you do in your spare time? Besides you know, the kids. <laughs> for sure. I really like yoga. I know it's going to be cliche, West Island mom and uh, environmentalist loving yoga, but there is nothing. I, I need it. It's part of, it sustains me. I get it. Oh, honey, I get it. I can't do it. I'm too nervous to do it. I'm too nervous to yoga, and I know all you yogis are going to freak out at that. How can Canada better manage its immigration policy, and how do you see that impacting the West Island further than it already has? So immigration. Um, for sure, that we carry the torch that we say we carry. As, a, as Canada, we, we represent ourselves on the international scene as a place of welcoming, as a place of uh, inclusiveness. So uh, we need to walk that walk. So on a tangible technical scale, I'm not sure what it means. Okay. But I mean, probably things that I know from people's experience that they've talked to me about is people who are, you know, I, I know a lot of people who come temporarily to work at, at McGill. They'll be doing a postdoc or, and you know, life happens before they know it. They've got the babies come in and, you know, the kids are in school and before they know it, they're like, oh my God, adult life has begun. And I, I, I don't really have to do this. <laughs> I have friends that, you know, have wanted their, their mother to be with them for their birth of their child and, and it she couldn't be in because right. the because of bureaucracy and layers okay of, of, so definitely there needs to be a loosening with regards to family unification that you know people are humans yeah. <laughs> everybody wants the support of their family when they need it and that's you know we that's a tangible something that i think our immigration policies need to reflect. Okay, that makes total sense. Um, environment, how would you support the environment? I know you've touched on it a little bit. What is there anything specific that you can imagine doing well, to help the environment? We need to stop putting heavy investment into the oil and gas industry. There's, there, the, that, that needs to be stopped and we need to think about putting heavy investment into public transportation green technologies, you know, people will say to the NDP, oh, well, you know, that's not realistic, the money's not there. We, Canada, supposed leader in climate change, purchased a pipeline. I mean, there, there's no, I mean, that's, that we, we need to do something about that. Okay. All right, is there anything that you want to add that would, um uh, before we move on, I, I, it's a tough question, but it's a West Island question, 100%. Well, it's a Quebec question. Um, one of our listeners, my concern is legislation and targeting the minorities in Quebec, such as the school boards and, the, and secularism, etc., and why the federal government is not intervening to defend those rights. So that's a question that came up on the West Island blog. For sure. I've kind of, it's tempting to put on my lawyer hat in a way, and I, I recognize that it's a... It's a fine line to walk mm -hmm. because Quebec is a state in and of itself as are the other provinces and they can legislate on a number of things so I, I definitely there needs to be a leadership federally denouncing it as as jurists are as, as people are saying that there there's it's questionable whether it respects the charter that the Again, the message that you're giving to people is a message of exclusivity and just and and it doesn't jive with the notion that I have of Canada 
uh, and Quebec as well. The Montreal that I know is very diverse and, and is welcoming. And again, it's tricky because I don't want to get into it because education for sure and is a provincial is a provincial matter. But uh, there's place for federal leadership to take to to, to take a position uh, on this issue on this issue, but not necessarily legally take okay. a position. I mean, it's not it's not, it's not clear to me. It's not a it's not. Uh, I can understand why our current prime minister might hesitate to say Quebec you can't do that you know there's a lot of reasons okay why that would it's it's, it's tricky okay but that said I mean I mean the, the beauty of the irony if uh, Jagmeet were to become prime minister you know with his religious symbol this is, is a, an indication that for sure New Democrats, but I believe more than just New Democrats. I believe all Canadians don't doubt his ability to lead our country because of a symbol that he happens to be wearing. Okay. You have a couple of seconds. Do you have anything that you want to say to the writer? Uh, I love you, Lex and Louis. <laughs> and uh, reach out to me. I have. Uh, Facebook NDP candidate page, reach out if you want me to come by, if you have an event, or even if you just have a question, send me a message. I'm really happy to hear from everybody. And this, what we're start embarking on the next month or two, I'm so looking forward to it because I love meeting people and talking to people. All right, thanks for coming out. It's an honor to have you here. Good luck in your race. Thank you. Rhonda Massad from the West Island blog. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Have a good day.